Edmonton police shocked by a city campsite. I haven't seen anything uh, this extensive, this elaborate. The area completely camouflaged, and the encampment featured a working kitchen, power, and running water. Councillor Ashley Salvador says with more than 4,000 unhoused people in Edmonton, these are more common. Those numbers are incredibly alarming, and we're seeing encampments in communities and areas that we typically haven't seen them. The encampment EPS cleared was located just off Roper Road and 34th Street. Police say some of the people have been living there for nearly a year, something disappointing to Councillor Joanne Wright. It's unfortunate that our residents, our uh, Edmontonians, are, are being feeling that these encampments and outdoor areas are their only choice for, for shelter and, and housing. Officials say the encampment did pose a safety risk and was home to some illegal activity. They recovered $8,000 worth of stolen goods. Minister Jason Nixon says this is why the province is committed to providing safe places to go. I really believe what the Edmonton Police Service found in that encampment uh, proves what the province and the, the Edmonton Police Service have been saying. There's dangerous activity taking place in encampments and we will not allow it to continue in our province. However, the Edmonton Coalition on Housing and Homelessness says it's not something they've seen so far. They say there's a lack of shelter space and housing available, which is why some are choosing to live rough. People moving from one park to another or from one back alley to another street two blocks away is not solving homelessness. A solution all leaders say needs to come soon. Jasmine King, Global News.